quality standards. Man, put the pizza in the oven. Stop talking back. If you are looking forward to a relaxing Labor Day weekend, then good for you. If you're looking to take the time to get out and do some shopping, maybe visit some Chattanooga stores that you don't normally have a chance to work into your weekly schedule, also good for you. Dwayne Madden, who owns the Hemp House here in Chattanooga, hopes that regardless of your plans for the weekend, you'll pay him a visit. Good to see you. Thanks, Julie. Good to be here. So, uh, you're having a sale this weekend? We Is are. Is that right? We are. Starting on Friday, tomorrow, uh, we'll be due 15% off throughout the entire store that's all products at all three locations um, then that'll take over online on Sunday because we'll be closed and then we're going to give our staff some time to hang out with their family and enjoy the Labor Day and we're going to be closed on Monday but you can Good. get those same savings online discounts are automatically applied no code necessary the online part of it I would think is very key because often people probably come in to see you they find something that they enjoy and they just want to get it as a matter of a monthly yep. or every couple of months reorder. Absolutely. We, it, we see a lot of our repeat customers coming on long, uh, uh, coming online. Mm -hmm. And a cool thing about that is we offer local delivery. So oh. we've got three shops. And if your address lies within 15 miles of those three stores, we'll deliver it to you same day as long as you're in by 2 p.m. And those three stores are Tremont, Tremont Udawa, East Ridge, and Udawa. Easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of spaced out just enough to kind of fit everybody's little little rim. No matter where you're traveling throughout Chattanooga, you can get to a hemp house. You opened how many years ago? October will be four years, so 2017. So when you opened, it was still a relatively new enough idea that I think a lot of people would hear about it and then go, oh, you went to that yeah. store? Yep. And now by word of mouth, more and more people are, are walking through the door. You were sharing with me that often what gets them to you uh, is either anxiety, difficulty sleeping, or their pets. Yep, pets are a big thing. Um, sleep is key for, for everybody. We have to have good sleep to have a good normal daily activities throughout our life. Um, and so, yeah, that's a big thing that comes through. But the pets, I like to talk about that. You know, they, they suffer during the, the holidays while we're out enjoying and we're out on the boats or we're downtown watching the fireworks. Some of our pets are not having such a good time. You know, it scares them. It gets them worked up. Um, I've got one that just cowers and turns all of our rugs into a circle and just mm -hmm. lays in the kitchen floor. And a lot of our customers are finding these treats and these tinctures for the pets are really helping with that and getting them calmed down so that you can all have an enjoyable night. I mean, we don't really go out because our pets are so upset. So right. we kind of like to just stay home, watch some movies, and it's really nice when they're calmed down and relaxed. Talk about uh, two things. One, the knowledge of your staff. Mm -hmm. And then two, the people who are supplying you the inventory because it's not all coming from you, you've got local vendors who yep. you're happy to sell. Absolutely. So, you know, we've, we've been open for almost four years now and education has always been one of our key factors because like you said, when we first opened, it was relatively new. It was new to us. It was new to our customers for sure. And so staying on top of that education, staying, you know, brought up to date on different laws, different rules that are going on within your community um, and different cannabinoids that are being found throughout the plant are key and essential. And all of our staff, they, they really enjoy that part of it. It. You right. know, some of them will go, hey, did you see this? And they're out there doing their own due diligence and doing their own research. Right. Um, and so that right there is just excellent. We, I feel like we have an excellent, excellent team at all three locations to help out. You don't ever want to come on and make any kind of a promise. No. Nope. Uh, you did bring some products with Absolutely. you, though, just so that you can see the variety. So terminology is different and new to me. You mentioned tincture. Tincture. That's what these are. The They're oil. drops. It's the most common product. A lot of our customers just come in. I'd like to have the hemp oil. You know, they, they've heard about it. They've read about it, and neighbors told them about it, and this is what they're, they're referring to, a tinkager, and that worked, you know, a pet can use it, or for humans as well, um, and all of ours are local vendors. You mentioned that, and I find that very, very important. Um, this is all particularly sourced from Chattanooga specifically, so I think that's awesome. Um, over the last four years, we've had some amazing companies open here in Chattanooga, and, you know, we are just thrilled to, to carry their stuff in our shop. I was very surprised when I saw that you had a white chocolate bar, and it's like a peppermint bar, mm -hmm. I guess, it, no less. That right there is probably one of our best sellers at the current moment. Um, it's delicious. It's made over in Dunlap. Cat from Cat's Naturals, we, she was one of our very first vendors, um, and so just seeing her grow throughout the years has been amazing. These, I guess, are little straws for tea but they're honey honey sticks yeah honey is a very very popular item you know um, honey we use it all the time um, especially if you source it locally it can help with local allergens um, we got a lot of pollen here mm -hmm. um, so if you can incorporate that pollen into your daily system it doesn't affect you as much when you're out there hiking through the woods I would have never thought about a rice crispy treat but there they are nonetheless of course, of course. rice crispy treats an all-time favorite um, the pet treats as well and then you know we also have topical products topicals right. are a huge thing 
Um, a lot of people want to come in and try them for the first time. Maybe you don't want to take a tincture. Maybe you, you want to just see how it works for you. Um, you don't want to ingest anything, but man, you've really got a knee that's been bothering you when you're out there, you know, working or doing whatever. The topicals are a great, great place to start. Okay, I also noticed that you brought literature. Yes. That's because, again, the educational Education, component? It's, it's key. Um, you know, this is just a little bit of information about us as Hemp House and what we aim to do for our community. Mm -hmm. um, but we have other literature available. Each shop has its own notebook. Um, that we've done a lot of research on and we have different products it's it's we, we really really like to focus on the education I'm sure you are a word-of-mouth business too so y'all do a lot with Facebook don't you thank you for bringing that up um, we do and Facebook has helped us throughout the years um, but most recently um, we're really unsure why our Facebook page has been unpublished so we huh. could really use the viewers help um, if you're a fan of Hemp House or want to learn more about what we're doing um, go to our Facebook page Hemp House Chattanooga Give us a like and help us rebuild that following. We lost about 7,000 followers when wow. we lost our page. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then do you do apps too if you're social media savvy? We do. We have an app going on currently only at the Android store, but we should be up at the uh, iOS Apple store in about two weeks. So okay. you can just search your Google Play store for Hemp House and we should pop right up. Um, I know we didn't get a whole lot into the specifics of the dog treats, mm -hmm. but it just dawned on me, are any of those usable for cats too or is it specific for dogs? It, the treats are Yourself are specific for dog, but we do have two tinctures that are salmon flavored, um, and so we recommend those for our cat lovers and our mm -hmm. cat owners, and they seem to get a good good response from it. I'm glad that I asked that because we have veterinarians on the show who will say, please, 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 don't ever try to mix a dog product no, for a cat. Not at all. So don't think that it's a one size fits all. It, it's definitely not. Um, we definitely have the products that are going to be specialized for those specific pets. Yeah, we wouldn't want to. Want to. And most cats aren't. Cats are picky. They're not going to eat a dog treat. You okay. Know? They're smart enough <laughs> they to know. They're smart enough to know. <laughs> so I know typically y'all are open Monday through Friday, and then it's how you have your weekend hours. Mm -hmm. This weekend is a little different because you're giving your crew a break on Monday. It is just Monday. We're going to take Monday off. So Good. once everybody clocks out on Saturday evening, they can go out and enjoy the weekend and have that nice Monday relaxing to, to, to do whatever it is that they want to do and okay. then we'll see everybody on Tuesday. Okay, so in a normal week you'll catch them 10 to 6? 10 to 6, Monday through Friday and then 10 to 5 on Saturdays. Just this Monday you go out and enjoy the lake as well. That's, That's what it. they're going to be it. doing. We're going to have some great weather and we're excited for we it. We are too. Dwayne, always good to see you. Thank you so much, Julie. The Hemp House, three locations in Chattanooga and remember that free delivery if you are within 15 miles of the specific store. Yep, absolutely. All three locations.